What are 10 things you might not know about your kidneys? Stay tuned, I'm gonna teach you something. Thanks so much for watching today. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Click that like button, hit that bell so you never miss a new recipe or new health tip. I'm Dr. Blake Schusterman. I'm a board certified kidney doctor and I'm also the cooking doc. And all the things we talk about today are just for you to know, to learn. Nothing in here is medical advice. Okay, here are 10 things about my favorite organ in the body, the kidneys. Number one, and the main job of the kidneys is to filter out the waste products in the body. These waste products come from the things that you eat every day or just from the normal workings and turnover of all the cells in the body as the body does the things to keep you alive. Number two, maintain the perfect fluid balance in your body. If your kidneys are working well, they know exactly how much salt and how much water your body needs on a day-to-day -day basis. And what they do with that information is they have this complicated calculation and then they know exactly how much salt and how much water to get rid of in your urine in order to keep you hydrated. Number three, your kidneys help your body make blood cells. I bet you didn't know that. Your kidneys produce a hormone called erythropoietin and that hormone goes to the bones and says, hey bones, make red blood cells. And so when your bones are making those red blood cells because of that signal from the kidneys, then they can keep you from getting anemia. On the other hand, if you have kidney disease, you may not make that hormone normally and you are at risk for developing low blood count anemia. Number four, keep your electrolytes in check. All those vitamins and minerals that you consume every day through food or through those multivitamin pills that you have just been taking forever, well, your kidneys know exactly how much of those vitamins and minerals your body needs every day. All hail the kidneys. Did I, did I just sing? Number five, and this is a quick one, your kidneys process between 150 and 200 liters of blood each day. That is a lot of processing. And imagine that 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Your kidneys are workhorses. Number six, regulate the blood pressure. People often think about the heart because the heart is pumping the blood as the main regulator of the blood pressure. And yes, the heart is important and so are your blood vessels, but your kidneys also play an intimate role in keeping your blood pressure controlled. Because your kidneys manage the salt in the water, the higher the salt in the water in the body, the higher your blood pressure. So that's one way they do it. The kidneys also are involved in a lot of the hormones that your body has that help squeeze or relax the blood vessels in your body. So you may have been referred to a kidney doctor to help manage your blood pressure, and that's why. Number seven, help make activated vitamin D. You can see why I love the kidneys so much, right? This activated vitamin D that is activated by the kidneys circulates in the body and helps maintain your body's overall health. Next, and this is related to the vitamin D, but your kidneys also help maintain your bone health. Can you believe that? We got blood, we got blood pressure, we got bones. Not only do the kidneys help activate that vitamin D, but the kidneys also process the calcium and the phosphorus. So remember before we talked about the kidneys keeping those minerals and electrolytes balanced in your blood? Well, the calcium and the phosphorus go right in line with that. And so if your kidneys aren't working well, that calcium and phosphorus balance can get all out of whack and that can lead through a cascade of complicated things to some bone breakdown. Number nine, each kidney contains one million glomeruli, or these tiny little filtering tufts when you are born. So that means that most people who are born at a normal weight have two kidneys and two million of these filters in their body to help process these waste products that we're talking about. Now, why is it important to have 2 million? Well, first of all, your body doesn't need all 2 million of those, but there are things that happen through your lifetime and that number goes down. So you're born with a lot of extra glomeruli and as you get older, that number goes down. But the hope is that you are born with enough so that by the time you're older, you still are able to maintain kidney function. Lastly, the kidneys help maintain the acid and base balance in your blood. 
This is also known as pH. If your body gets too acidic, your kidneys, along with a little help from the lungs, okay, I'll give you that, help maintain the pH of the blood, that acid and base balance in a very tight range. If that blood gets too acidic, just by a little bit, it can have catastrophic consequences. So your kidneys are key for maintaining that balance and allowing everything in the body to work okay because a lot of the parts of the body require that acid-base balance to be right in that specific range. Now that you see all those things that the kidneys do in the body, you can see why it's so important to keep those kidneys healthy if you can. So one of my goals as a kidney doctor and as the cooking doc is to give you the tools through what you eat and through managing your day-to-day -day life to keep your kidneys healthy because your kidneys can impact everything from your head to your toes and everything in between. Thanks so much for watching today. I'm Dr. Blake Schusterman. I'm a board certified kidney doctor and I'm also the cooking doc. I hope you learned something. How many of those 10 things did you already know? Comment, share this video, check out my website, thecookingdoc.co. Check out my book, The Cooking Doc's Kidney Healthy Cooking, a Modern 10-Step Guide to Preventing and Managing Kidney Disease. And I will see you next time.